Um, so I saw he starts off with finishing off my H&C and C and H and D at uh, my college, and then from there I kind of was tempted to take a bit of a break, thinking I was uh, done, but signed up with the Paralympics and helping them when they came over in 2012, and from then got a bit more of a, a passion and hunger for learning more and applying it more to my college, so I signed up to my university for a further access. When I, I was at school, I always thought that uni was going to be a, a big scary place when it comes to it, because obviously it's quite a lot of work when you need to do. So I was distant to going to uni, um, but thinking of it when I went to study HNC and HND, fitness, health and exercise at college, um, it made me change my mind mm -hmm. that I would, I think uni would be a, a great place to learn more and gain a degree that I never thought I would possibly get. My journey kind of started in college. Um, I'd done an HNC in social care to start off with, um, but I got about halfway through the course and at that time my, my girlfriend was pregnant. So um, she went into hospital for three months and I had to drop out. So um, I took my backup plan, which was also college, um, but it gave me the opportunity to do a direct entry straight into university. Um, so I've done one year of HNC social science, mm -hmm. which was successful for a change, and then um, straight into second year. Mm -hmm. I'm from East Africa, so I left um, Somalia. So I left Somalia because um, of war, corruption, it was just really bad, very chaotic. So I did two years of college, HNC and HND. So um, after college, um, when I got my HND, I um, moved to uni. So college, a lot of notes were given to me. Um, and since the class was small, the lecture, the lecture was always there, so he or she would come around to ask if everything's okay, so it would be one-to-one -one interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if it was uni, you would have to speak out, <laughs> so that was, that was scary. One of the biggest challenges I kind of found was just how completely different it is. Like I was saying that the university seems to have this different ethos from college, and especially being a direct entrant, there's already students there have had uh, several years to kind of build up a relationship and you're the new kid in the playground pretty much and um, also the standard of work in that is to a higher degree more academic and more about coming in to apply yourself and uh, it was kind of just more uh, daunting at first. I anyway, was a direct entrant, uh, just like Ryan, went into year three um, college I had quite a lot of support, um, although it did prepare me to get into uni. It was, um, as Ryan said, mm. it was daunting uh, to get in, just going in. I was the only uh, student who went in as a direct entrant. Um, right before I was going to university, um, and before I was applying to college as well actually, there was kind of a bit of process that um, I doubted myself quite a lot because of my age and because I wasn't just leaving high school and that kind of stuff. Um, I think that the way that they taught things in college kind of changed my perception and um, the makeup of my class as well in college because it was all people who were intended to go to university as direct entrants um, through the associate degree. So I think, um, yeah, we got really kind of well prepared and we were really given an understanding of what was expected of us 